Hi, everybody. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Lorena. Hello. 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 Juan, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready? Are you ready? Repeat. Are you ready? Oh. Yes. Yeah, you are more than ready, right? Hopefully, uh, we're going to have a great time together again. Jacqueline, good, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Ingrid. Good I can evening. see I can see Helen will be as a listener tonight. Catherine, good evening. Margarita, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so let us start with, with my question, right? So, you know, every single time I get into the class... I will I will have one question and that question is hey, what's new in English? What's new? What have you learned lately? That is my question, right? And we're gonna take advantage of time and at the same time uh, we're gonna wait for the rest, right? We're gonna make some time for the rest. So for example, Rebecca, uh, good evening, Rebecca. Uh-huh. Okay, activate your, your microphone, please. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs> oh, but that's good. Okay, don't worry. You will participate. Hello. Wow. Hello. Good to see you here. So he's having English classes also, right? <laughs> okay, Chris. Chris. Uh, oh, no, sorry, Rebecca. Uh, what's new, Rebecca? What have you learned lately in English? New expression, new word, new new vocabulary. Sorry, teacher. No escuché bien. ¿Me puede repetir la pregunta? Sure. Um, what have you learned lately in English? Um, Al algo nuevo que he aprendido durante el día en inglés. Bueno, uh, well, uh, Yesterday in, in the aeroplane, you said welcome to the El Salvador. I miss you. you I miss you. University. Oh. Okay. Well, they would like to say like welcome to El Salvador, right? So that's a that's something quite important, right? Like to greet people who come to to our country. Thank you, Rebecca. I know that you are you are busy there. Okay, but thanks for sharing your um your your participation. Juan Antonio, what's new? Can I? Can I uh, hello, teacher. Hello. I I I learned I learned four no, words. Ya no puedo. Four new words. He Which aprendido, one? He, he aprendido cuatro palabras con sus oraciones. Uh -huh. Okay, Juan. For for example, afternoon. Uh, the match is in this afternoon. Excellent. Birthday. Birthday. When is your birthday? Great. Water. Uh, water. The water is cold. Ear. My ears is cold. Wow. Four words, teacher. Four words, four sentences. Great, great pronunciation. And now you are just um, learning something new. That's fantastic, uh, Juan Antonio. Congratulations. Wow. Can you see light? Thank having... you, teacher. Like, like learning like four words and four sentences and besides that taking care of the pronunciation of the word that is awesome right four words daily imagínense cuatro palabras diarias o cual, incluyendo las oraciones así como lo ha hecho Juan este día sería sería sorprendente al final de este de este módulo encontrarnos con que hemos aprendido muchísimo vocabulario y muchísimas frases nuevas good I really like that Quite good. Jacqueline, go ahead. Hello. 
teacher, hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, now I learn learning a little vocabulary. Uh -huh. I would be close that a word in the colors. Colors. Okay. Colors. Yes. Okay, tell me about colors, Lorena. Uh, white, mm -hmm. red, yellow, mm -hmm. black, mm, pink, and orange. And orange, okay. No sentences? Only words. Okay, and actually, listen, tonight we're talking about adjectives. And colors are adjectives. So that's that's fantastic to know about some colors in English. Okay, thank you very much, Lorena. Now I want to listen to Jacqueline Hernandez. Hello. Hello. I live in Usulután. How are you? Just fine. <laughs> what about you? My so so. Okay. New words, Jacqueline. New expressions. Okay. Well, thank you, Jacqueline, for participating, right? Now let's listen to Griselda. Hello, Griselda. Good evening. Good evening. Activate your yeah. microphone. Similares, se puede decir. Ajá. El Elizabeth, right? Elizabeth Rodríguez. Good evening. Oh. Por ejemplo, my my libre is guapa y my favorite color is black your favorite color is black all right so we continue talking about colors right so you know colors as i told you before are adjectives and tonight we are in church of learning about adjectives so i really like i really like the topic you you chose okay let's listen to goretti Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, Hello. I I learned um, the the dark in the color and mm -hmm. light in the color uh, too. Right. Uh -huh. Is is uh, uh, you I, I know that the, uh, um, is interesting for me the um, the adjective the my and uh um, the process okay. the the pronouns and the adjective is, is different for me I I difficult <laughs> okay but that's fantastic uh -huh. okay Goretti Pretty good. That's fantastic. Like, to get fam yeah. more familiarized with the possessive adjective, my, your, his, her, uh -huh. it's, our, and there. Okay. So ju just continue practicing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us listen to Jose Angel. We have Angelo in here. Activate your microphone, Angel, please. Well, I think Angela has problems with microphone. Okay, Angel, let me know when you get ready, please. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're gonna listen to uh to Ingrid. Ingrid, what's new in English? Yo queriéndome librar, teacher. 
Eh, bueno, yo siento que todavía me cuesta un poco, ¿verdad? Pero eh, yo creo que con lo que más he estado peleando es eh, con eso de decir el, eh, mi nombre en, eh, por letras. Ah, so the alphabet. Ajá, ajá. Uh, Entonces es I-N-G-R-I-D V-A-N-E-S-S-A-C-A-R-R-A-Z-A-D-E-G-O-C-H-E-Z. E-D. Okay, pretty good. Now, you see, important, right? So it's been like uh, the, the last week we were like practicing how to spell the names in English. And I, I really love when you continue practicing uh, the way to do it. And we're going to listen. We finally are going to listen to, let's see, Irma, Dalila. Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, es sobre lo que hemos aprendido, ¿verdad? Yeah, something new. Okay, um, and learn in the preposition is the topic very interest, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the numbers, the cardinal and, and ordinal. And that's topic um, practice. Uh, okay, which are the, the, can you tell me the numbers up to 20? One, two, three, four, five. Dalila? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty. Okay, thirteen. Fourteen. Uh -huh. Fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Excellent. Um, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Something else? The cardinal. Uh, the other ones are the ordinal numbers. First, second, okay. third. Okay, good. Continue practicing. Great. I don't Thanks. know if I can see that you're uh, putting into practice some info that we have studied previously. I don't know. Angel, are you ready? Uh, can you? Yeah, we can listen ah, to you perfectly. You. Uh, sorry, me conecté un poco tarde, entonces no entiendo la dinámica. Ah, okay. So, Angel, remember that every single time we get into the class, the first thing I will ask is about how, uh, about something that you have learned in English during the day. Cada vez que entremos a clase, yo les, les he solicitado que nos sorprendan con una frase nueva, una palabra nueva. Por ejemplo, en el caso de Juan Antonio, él se dedicó a cuatro palabras en inglés bien pronunciadas y las incluyó en cuatro oraciones. Entonces, él aprendió cuatro oraciones que no habíamos visto en clase. Okay. Esa es la dinámica al iniciar cada sesión, que nos, que nos sorprendan con algo nuevo que han aprendido. Okay, este, bueno, eh, una palabra que hace poco estuve escuchando fue like, uh -huh. pero además de entenderla como gustar, sino que como reflejar, por ejemplo, I like to listen to music, All right. a mí me gusta escuchar música, música, pero ahí mismo decir like metálica, ahí se usa uh... like como metálica. Exactly, excelente, eh, José. Y de ahí, este, toda la oración que practiqué fue: I like to listen to music like Metallica, Black Sabbath, and Led Zeppelin. And Led Zeppelin, all right. I like eh. to. Ok. Entonces, sí, eso, eso estuve practicando hoy, pero. Eh, excellent, Angel. Excellent. Eh, I really like you, that. Thank you, teacher. Now, hey, we're going to start with the class. Ok, now, congratulations, because I can see that you have been. Uh, learning something new, that's uh, quite important for me. And, you know, sooner or later, you're going to use the vocabulary you have studied. 
Well, uh, we are in um, basic English module number one, and this is the second week, right? Last week we were in, in church of working with section number one and section number two. This week we are, we are working in section number three. And besides that, tomorrow we are gonna work in the midterm. Okay, remember that this week you are in church of working in the, in the midterm um, evaluation. Yesterday we talked about syllable stress, um, we were also talking about numbers and ages, but tonight we're going to have some review about double niche questions with the verb to be. And later we're going to go over uh, this topic, which is with, uh, which I consider is quite important. Now, as you can see, there is new vocabulary such as thin, handsome, pretty, uh, quiet, talkative, funny, shy, serious, etc. like heavy, friendly, and so on. Shot, I have shot over here. Now, well, but let's start from the topic about the bird to be. We're gonna see it. And later as I, as we usually do, we're gonna visit some uh, pages, some, we're gonna get into some links, we're gonna, uh, practice a little bit, but just right now, we're going to go over the double H questions with the verb to be. Now, yesterday, not like some days ago, I told you about the verb to be, right? And we said that the verb to be in present is, what, what is the form of the verb to be in present, people? Hello, can um, you listen? Okay. Um, uh, repeat, repeat, please. Is, are. Is, and are. Okay. So this is the something that we have been studying a lot, right? Um, is, are. And the way we conjugate it is, I am. Mm -hmm. What else? Tell me. You are. You are. Mm -hmm. um, Tell me. He is. is, is, uh -huh. she is, she is, is they are. It is. All right. It is. It is. We are. We are. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. You. You are. We are. are. You are. And finally, they are. They, they, are. they are. Great. So this is the famous uh, topic about the bed to pick. We have been studying about it in positive, negative, interrogative. And uh, also, I remember we were talking about just not questions in English. Okay. Now. <laughs> We are just going to go over something new, and that's double H. Double H question words such as what, where, how, who, and where, and that's it. So we're going to see some of them. This is a different way to create questions in English. So let's pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who, what, when, where, how, why. On your screen, you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be. You're going to have a WH word, 
plus the verb to be plus some kind of pronoun or complement. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Now it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then for your friends and relatives, remember, the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. The more you practice, the more you will learn. Okay, now the guy presented uh, double H question words such as what what and as you can what? see we have what we have an apostrophe over here and then we have the <laughs> end and that is the verb to be right so it's, it's in the contractive form it's like saying like this but with no contraction let's say what's is is the same as give me a second is the same as what is right? What is yeah? In the second one, we have where are you from? How are you today? Who's that? Now look at this one. This is contracted form also. Who's is the same as saying who is right? Then. We have, actually, the, those are the ones that we have in the contracted form, right? So, but we we can perfectly have like her, hers, which is the same as saying her is, right? Okay, how's, <clears throat> what, how is, Etc. Right. Yeah. How? I... So now we have like words such as who, 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 what, 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 what. when, 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 where, 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 how? 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 Why? 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 And we have like some more such as uh, which which etc. Right. So I think there are some a couple of of question words more here. So we have the double H question word plus. The verb to be plus a pronoun plus a complement. Okay, so that is like the structure we need to follow. Teacher, Tell me. What is the idea for the contraction? What is the what? Uh, the idea of the contraction uh, is uh, you're asking if there is a there is a video about con contractive form? Uh -huh. 
Yeah. I, well, I will look for one and then I will share it with you. Don't worry, because I will I will look for it. Okay. Ah, so what what is what is the purpose? I mean, you say what is a teacher? What is the purpose of having double H question word uh, with the verb to be contracted with the verb to be? Well, actually, it's like to sound more naturally, right? And also that is the way, that is the language, right? That is the language and we need to learn it, right? So because we perfectly may say like what is and what's and both are okay. So it all depends. If you want to use what is, you can do it. But if you want to use it in the contractive form, you can do it also. Like having two alternatives, okay? And um, let me see. We're gonna go over some exercises about, because this topic, I remember last time we were talking about uh, this topic and we learned the way to use double H question words. Now we're just getting back to the topic and uh, having some review. Okay, so we're gonna see the knowledge check part. And then we're gonna move to the to the main topic. I consider that the adjective is like the main topic for tonight. And we have conversations. Now I will read it. I will read the objective, and that is our directions, and that is um, completing the conversations with double H question words by selecting the correct question. Conversation number one. Look. Who's that? Okay. Who's that? Who's that? Okay, what's the answer? Oh, he's a new student. Great. Ah, oh, he's a new student. Conversation number two. I think his name is Xian Kuo. What's his name? What, what, what name his name? What's his name? Chen Kuo. Chen Kuo. Where is he from? Where is he from? Where is where is he from? And the answer? He's from He's China. From China. China. He's from China. Great. Second part. Surat. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah. Where is the answer? From Turkey. From, from Istanbul. All right, from Istanbul. Istanbul is very old and beautiful. What's Istanbul like? What's Istanbul like? My last name is Erd Erdogan. What's, What's your, your name? name? What's your last name? name? I'm just fine. My friend Caroline is here this week from Argentina. How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, cool. What's, what's, what's she like? What's she like? You? What's she like? Okay. She's really friendly. She's 28 years old. How old is she? 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 Good. Now look at the answers. And notice that. You have just worked in the right way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that? What is he? What's, what's what? his name? What's Where is he from? Where is he from? Where is he from? 
Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? What is Istanbul like? What's Istanbul like? Istanbul like. What's your last your name? name? What's your last name? Oh, who are you? Who are you? All right. What she what she, she like? What she, she like? How old, How old is she? Old yes. old she? Very good. I think that we do not have to yes, too many problems with this. And actually, I think you have done a great job. And now we're just gonna get to the topic about adjectives. And we're gonna learn. Well, we're gonna see. I think we're gonna be present. We're going to see a presentation of the adjectives in a conversation. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn adjectives, which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio, and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. He's truly really He's a little tall. heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. He's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do <laughs> is an example of each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, coworker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co-worker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. Is really tall. He's serious. Okay, so now we have some examples about adjectives. And we have a couple of them. What is this? Um, Sorry. Now we're we're gonna we're gonna identify parts of a sentence. Like, what is this, people? Um, he is very tall. He is right. He's really tall. Yes, he is. He is. Really tall. In this tall. one. Really tall. What really. Is, tall. What is this? Alto. Tall. An this, adjective. It's an adjective, right? So this is our topic tonight. Okay. Oh. Now we have okay. uh, the verb to be, okay, oh. Oh. and we also have an adjective. He is <laughs> really tall. Same happens over here. We have verb to be, and then we have an adjective. An adjective. An adjective. What is this adjective? Adjective. I'm so. I'm so. Okay, pretty good. Now look at this one. Same story, right? What do we have here? Please. Verb to be. Verb to be in present, and later we have an adjective. An adjective. An adjective. Look at this one, same story. I mean, the story um, is the same, right? Exactly. And then what do we have here? Our adjective. Adjective. What about this one? Verb to be. Verb to be. And adjective. adjective. Look. Verb to be. An adjective. An adjective. Verb to be. Adjective. Same story. As you can see, it's the same story, right? So uh, this is one of the rules, right? So whenever you have a subject, a verb to be, uh, later you can include an adjective. She's a little heavy. She's really friendly. She's serious. She's funny. Okay, 
So, and we have, as you can see in adjective, we have uh, adjectives about physical appearance, physical appearance such as tall, such as thin, such as handsome, such as um, pretty, pretty mm -hmm. such as <clears throat> short, etc. Right. So, but we also have adjectives about personality. Personality. Which are the adjectives about personality, people? Friendly. Curious. Ah. What about Friendly. this one? Personality. Quiet. Yeah, quiet. Personality. Personality. Shy. 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 Look at this one. Talkative. Talkative. Personality. Talkative. 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 Funny. 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 Serious. 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 And friendly. 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 Right. Now, tell me that you A little do. heavy? Yeah, the little heavy. Oh, also we have, she's a little heavy, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, now that we have the idea about adjectives, We're going to practice a little bit. Well, we have this part. We have some extra explanation about adjectives, like the definition, etc. And uh, let's start about asking hey, what's an adjective? What's an adjective? What's the definition of that word, where so mm -hmm. where are types of adjectives and which are some examples. And as you can read over here, we know or now we know that an adjective is a word that modifies or or what describe describes describe. what a noun no. or a pronoun. No. Adjectives can be used to describe the qualities of someone or something independently or in comparison to something else. Examples. I like all house. Good. What is the adjective? Oh. All. All right. Read the second oh. sentence, please. The boy is tall is skinny. and skinny. skinny. Tall and skinny. Skinny. Oh, skinny. What is the skinny? Okay, people. Now, listen. Listen carefully. There's there is somebody uh, asking about the meaning of the word skinny. Skinny mm -hmm. is the same is the same as thing. Now, mm -hmm. something that you will learn in this course is like to have to have. You can have. Thing. Yeah. Skinny thing. Mm. Now listen carefully. Uh, teacher. Hello. What is this thing in Spanish? Uh, okay. That's what I want you to teach now. It's because vamos a acostumbrarnos a algo, okay? Desde, desde, el, desde el inicio. Um, I highly recommend you. Les recomiendo en gran manera tener una pestañita abierta ahí, ya sea con un Doctor. translator o mm. a dictionary. Ok. okay. Why? Because, uh, well, remember that classes are going to be fully in English. Las clases mm -hmm. poco a poco se van a ir convirtiendo más. O sea, el español va a ser menos cada vez. Y si ustedes se dan cuenta, de la semana pasada para esta semana ya está un poco diferente. Entonces, quiere decir que esto es progresivo. Debemos eh, tomar ventaja de, de lo que nos provee el internet. Por ejemplo, alguien puede decir, hey, teacher, yo voy a ocupar un diccionario inglés-inglés. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Y ahí, ¿qué es lo que van a encontrar en un diccionario inglés-inglés? Ah, 
Van a encontrar, por ejemplo, la palabra skinny, pero van a encontrar el significado en inglés. Entonces, en ese sentido, vamos a ir ganando cuántas palabras? Dos. Ah, dos mm. o más. ¿Ok? Entonces, si, si la palabra es skinny, y de ahí nos dicen en el diccionario thin, y no, no sé ni esta, y tampoco sé esta, entonces me voy a una opción C, que si ustedes quieren puede ser esto, o esto, español-inglés. ¿Ok? Ok, so de esa manera vamos a ir trabajando. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Ok, okay. Okay, Jennifer provided the meaning of those words in the chat. And that is something that you can also include in the class, right? Like if you learn a new word, you can share it in the chat. Hagamos del chat algo interactivo en donde ustedes incluyan lo que van aprendiendo. Por lo menos ahorita uh, Jennifer mm -hmm. ya incluyó el significado de las dos palabras. Okay, so but let us continue, please. So we have Jean is smart. Smarter. Smarter. Than okay. Now you you will encounter more more information. Okay, and a lot of new adjectives like the ones that. Uh, well, there is a way to use adjectives in English like adjective modifier describes nouns and pronouns. They can be attributive occurring before the noun or predicative occurring after the noun. Predicative adjectives typically follow a linking verse such as the verb to be that connects the subject of the sentence to the adjective. And uh, we have this one, like uh, this example, the proud soldier. Carla, Carla, do you have any question? Yes, sí. Uh, a veces escucho que usted dice eh, da o de cuando es. Ah, eh, we, uh, about this, about ajá. the pronunciation of this, okay, good. A veces lo escucho decir da o y otra de. Sí. Okay, good uh -huh. question. Now, I will, I will try to explain that. You have da, eh, da term. Okay, I say da. Why? Because we have a consonant over here. But I say D elephant. Why do I say D? Because we, the word in front of it starts with a vowel. A vowel. Oh. Uh -huh. Da consonant. D. Okay. Vowel. ¿Ok? También aplica cuando es el sonido, ¿verdad? No necesariamente. Eh, exactly. So if you have a consonant sound, so you say da. If you have a vowel, so that is D. Oh. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. That may help a lot of people. Now, eh, well, I was just saying about this. Wow, Goretti is just a, a sharing the meaning of certain words there. Like proud, dedicated, um, thin, skinny, etc. That's good. And, well, I was just telling you about the difference of the information we saw in the video. Proud, soldier. And later we have the fit to be, right? So why do we have this pattern? It's because we we perfectly may say that soldier is proud. Uh, now, one question. Is this the same? Está diciendo el mismo mensaje? Yes or no? Porque lo que vimos en el video... Eh, nos, nos presentaba que después, uh, bueno, the soldier is proud. Like we have 
tenemos acá el verbo to be y después del verbo to be, ¿qué les decía yo que seguía? El adjective. Ah, ok, pero si ustedes se dan cuenta, acá no funciona así. Tenemos el adjetivo antes de un nombre. O sea, aquí dice, the proud soldier is some. The, the, the proud soldier is proud. I mean, the soldier is proud. Ok, entonces acá dice, de... el soldado orgulloso está en casa. Uh -huh. Pero acá dice, el soldado está orgulloso. En the second is um, in the place. And the, in the first is um, un, un estado y en el otro es un lugar, entiendo yo. No, listen carefully. El punto que yo quiero que noten es que, por ejemplo, ustedes pueden decir a proud Ok, so, él es, él es un soldado orgulloso. El soldado está orgulloso. Entonces, prácticamente lo que sucede acá es un cambio de posición. Pero yo lo que quiero que noten es que en ambas maneras ustedes pueden utilizar el adjetivo. En este caso... El adjetivo es este, proud, y después de proud está un nombre, pero en este primero está el nombre, después el verbo to be y después el adjetivo, ¿ok? So, he's a proud soldier, the soldier is proud. So this different ways to say like the same the same uh, uh, message, right? So, but don't worry because we have a lot a lot of topics to talk about. So the dedicated employee, dedicated. Look at it, dedicated employee. Empl employee is dedicated. Well, we have more life. Let me see. Well, you will encounter like a lot of a lot of adjectives like comparative adjectives, superlative adjectives, but that those topics are topics for future classes. Okay. Okay. So, well, we still have some time to continue practicing. Well, I think we're gonna go over this part. So we have we're gonna we're gonna work in. In ten of them only. What would be the sentence, people, for this picture? Rich. No, but what would be the sentence? Mm. ¿Cuál sería la oración? He is rich. He is rich. She, she is rich. She. Okay. She's rich. She's. What would be the sentence? She is good. good. She is good. Good. Is she good, or she or she is good? The Fantastic. Good. Very good. Sorry? What about this one? Mm. Two plus one, it, three. It two is. plus two, four. It is easy. 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 It is, it is easy. easy. Yes, okay. Fast. Um, he is fast. Okay. Fast. Sentence? Young. They are young. They're young. Happy. Happy. Is happy. happy. She is happy. 
finished with this, uh, I will ask you to work in an activity for tomorrow. Vamos a dedicarle, oops, siete minutos para comenzar por lo menos. Empty, okay, so Goretti is continue sharing the meaning of certain words here. Felicito a los que se han dedicado a, a ayudar a los demás y colocar eh, vocabulario con el significado, eso está muy bien. Let me see. So, mm, preguntas al respecto. No questions. No, no questions. Okay. Um, vimos knowledge questions. Como, mm -hmm. hey, where is he from? What's his name? What's her last name? Uh, how old is he? Etc. Vimos eso. También vimos eh, adjetivos, ¿verdad? What's he like? ¿Cómo es él? What's she like? ¿Cómo es ella? ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, lo que les voy a solicitar es que trabajen en la descripción de una persona. Que ustedes conozcan bien. Y la van a describir de manera física, pero también la van a describir respecto a su personalidad. Ok, eso es para, para que por lo menos comencemos ahora. Le dediquemos unos cinco minutos a dar inicio a eso. Ok, uh -huh. después de los cinco minutos yo voy a, voy a pedirle que a una o dos personas, dependiendo uh -huh. como nos, si tenemos un par de minutos extras por ahí, para que nos, nos compartan cómo va el inicio de lo que mañana nos van a presentar. Ahora, uh -huh. los demás... Cuando alguien presente, los demás pueden hacer preguntas. What's he like? 
How old is he? How old is she? De modo que todos tienen que estar preparados para contestar esas preguntas. ¿Ok? Ahora, dediquemos cinco minutos. Cinco minutos para que inicien con eso. Que yo cierro mi micrófono. Después de esos minutos, voy a pedirle solo a una persona que nos comparta cómo va ese avance. Hello. Hello, Dalila. Um, I have a um, brother. His name is Ernesto. He is serious and, and funny. And... Oh. He is, is tall. Okay, pretty good, Alila. Now, now you have included some, some adjectives we studied tonight. So tomorrow, you may say like, okay, Dalila providing an example that I consider it's important to clarify uh, because she said, I have a brother, uh, his name is Ernesto, he is tall, he is serious, but he is happy. Entonces ella dice, él es serio, uh, no, él es serio, pero es gracioso. Entonces, si usted va a incluir oraciones así, hay que aclarar porque él es serio en ocasiones y porque en otras ocasiones es, es gracioso. Ok. Ok. Ok, pretty good. So, I think we're going to stay here. No sé si hay preguntas de lo que vamos, lo primero que vamos a abordar el día de mañana es eso, las presentaciones. Voy a tratar de que todos eh, tengan la oportunidad de presentar. Luego vamos a trabajar en el midterm, en el examen. ¿Ok? Esas son las actividades para mañana. Presentaciones y midterm. ¿No hay ninguna pregunta? Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. Tell me, Jennifer. El, el midterm ya lo tengo casi terminado, solo hay una sección que no la he podido llenar. Uh, don't worry, Jennifer. No se preocupe porque todavía tiene esta noche, no sé si mañana podrá dedicarle tiempo a la actividad, pero en la noche que nos reunamos lo vamos a abordar completito, ¿ok? Y ahí podemos salir de dudas. Una, una consulta, disculpe, si ya terminamos el examen, ¿podemos seguir avanzando con lo demás? Sí. Sí, ok. Yo siempre, siempre se les ha recomendado de que avancen, ¿verdad? Que si alguien quiere o por X o Y motivo no puede avanzar, pues por lo menos que vaya al paso, ¿verdad? Que vaya cumpliendo con lo que se le pide en la semana. Pero si alguien más puede invertir más tiempo, eh, enfocarse en las actividades que están por, por venir, lo pueden hacer perfectamente. Teacher, una pregunta. Claro. Eh, cuando, cuando dice... Este, vamos a hablar sobre las presentaciones al inicio, se refiere a lo que nos está diciendo ahorita de hablar de una persona. Exacto. Ah, ok. Las presentaciones de eh, la descripción de las personas. Ok. Ok. Teacher. Hello, Margarita. Eh, y el mirror, ¿cómo es? El mirror time, el examen, es el que tenía 33 puntos. I don't remember exactly, no me recuerdo cuántos tenía, cuántos tiene, pero está dividido en secciones. Es que yo, bueno, a mí de la sección 3 solo me faltaría la primera sección, algunas preguntas. Ok, terminémoslas porque ya, digamos, mañana deberíamos 
de haber completado prácticamente todo. E igual la sección este, dos, al, las tres últimas preguntas las escribí como nos la dictó ayer, pero aún así me salieron incorrectas. Ok, so, don't worry, mañana mm -hmm. lo chequeamos, eh, Margarita. Ok. Ok, so, we're gonna stop over here, nos quedamos por acá, y nos vemos el día de mañana, primero Dios. Ok, good night, people. Sí, Ajá, tell me. Ese enlace de los que usted envía no hay hoy. Uh, let me see. Ya. Yeah. Sí, se lo voy a compartir ahorita. Por ahí se los dejo en el chat, ¿ok? Thank you. Ok, see you tomorrow, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. 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 Good night